Chelsea traveling squad to United States for our preseason games has been confirmed, with Trevin Chaloba and Petrovic the notable names to be left at. Meanwhile, Kono Gallagher is close to join Atletico Madrid and also Chelsea have signed a young talent. These are many more, including latest Chelsea news will be discussed during the course of this video. I remember Alex here. Please kindly go on to like this video, share this video, so that we we'll continue to give you the latest happening with Chelsea. Last night, the Chelsea players jet out to the United States for our preseason games, which will be coming up uh, starting from on the 25th of this month against Reza. Then our last game will be Inter Milan, which will be discussed during the course of this video. But before then, the one making headline is Trevi Chaloba left out. This is the question. Do you think even if Chelsea want Trevin Chaloba or Enzo Maresca and the Chelsea board want Enzo, uh, Trevin Chaloba to leave Chelsea? Do you think this is the best way to handle such situation? Or this is a sign of disrespect to Trevin Chaloba as a player, as a person, and also being a Chelsea player right from his childhood. So if you want to describe Trevin, Trevin Chaloba, is a true Chelsea, is a proper Chelsea. So do you think this is the best way to handle so such situation? If you even if you want a player to leave the club, don't you think they are forcing Trevin Chaloba out, which that is what they are doing? Do you think it's proper? Let us know at the comment section. But for me, that is not the right way to treat a player. Because okay, starting from the football aspect. Football angle now. You said Fofana, De Sassi, and Tosi. These three players are the players that Chaloba are likely gonna uh, compete with in terms of that right central back position. Wesley Fofana, on his own part, is an injury prone player. Ever since coming to Chelsea, he has not been able to play a substantial number of games. The whole of last season. It was not available due to injury. So are you telling me you are relying on such player? De Sassi was full of inconsistency last season. He lacked pace. He will make one. He will make one block. Then celebrate like some like a player that won the Champions League with so many error. Can you still rely on this player? Tosin has not played for Chelsea. What the Probability that it will fit into Chelsea and it will start to uh, uh, get things going immediately, get things right immediately. Fine. Then you're leaving Trevi Chaloba for these three guys. The truth must be said, Trevi Chaloba has been our best defender outside Thiago Silva in the past two seasons. If we are to be sincere, the Sassi is not consistent. Wesley Fofana is an injury pro. Then if you go over to the left hand side, the likes of Levikowi, they are still a little bit inexperienced compared to uh, Trevin Chaloba. Ben Odalashi is not consistent. So why leaving Trevin Chaloba out? I understand, yes, the Sassi may not be marketable. Fofana may be part of the future of our club, but it's an injury pro. Tosi is just coming in. But at the same time, that does not mean Cherry Ch Chaloba have to sit out or have to be left out. Considering the fact that he's a player that has been with Chelsea right from childhood. So he deserves that level of respect. And again, if Enzo Maresca and the Chelsea board believe this is the best way to treat a player or this is the best way for you to force a player out, a player who has not had issue with the club, you want to force him out. Even if you want to put him on the transfer market, this is not the best way to do it. Terry Chaloba is a human being. You didn't consider what this decision will do in terms of his career, will impact his career, impact his personal life, and as swear people around him. For me, it's unjust for you to treat Trevin Chaloba like this, or for Chelsea management to treat Trevin Chaloba like this. If Enzo Maresca should continue like this, it therefore means that uh, the Chelsea players could repel against him. This is Chelsea. 
if the player says they don't want to play for you, don't go play for you because with this kind of decision now, some some of those players when they that plane going to United States, they may not be they may not be happy with this decision. Inside click click they day, inside family, friend they day, friends, friends still they day. So within that Chelsea score, there are some players that will not be uh, uh, happy that Trevin Chaloba their guy is left out. And any and any little spark, any little team, you describe say this player may just be turning their back on the coach. So for me, Enzo Mareska is not giving himself an up it has to convince the Chelsea faithful, the Chelsea supporters that this decision is the best decision. How will he be able to prove this? By the start of the first game against Reza or our preseason game down to the start of the season, he needs to give us maximum points, maximum results, convincing win. That is the only way we'll be able to buy the Chelsea faithful to himself. Then maybe some section of our fan base will start to sing the praises for Enzo Maresca in Stanford Bridge. But if not, if not for results, with this decision on Trevin Chaloba, it could be difficult to, you know, go day zero. May it ask the likes of Andre Villa Boas when they come when it comes Chelsea. Thought maybe uh, the best way to handle Chelsea is by dropping out those senior players like Frank Lampard and all that. For not up to eight months, it was sacked. Then the material replaced him, and we won Champions League with that same squad. What happened towards the end of Grand Potter? It's as if the players never wanted to play for Grand Potter. They intentionally don't want to put the ball into the back of the net. Then all of a sudden, the same players, Pochettino come, we began to see changes. So for me, this is not the best way to handle such issue. It's for me, it's a total disrespect to Trevin Chaloba. Even if you expect a player to leave, okay, we're back tomorrow. If any of these defenders can't get injured for preseason, and not premier they get injured, everybody should stay fit. But in the game of football, injury is part of it. Injury is part of it. You have to make preparation for that. So we do not call Trevin Chaloba say, hey, oh boy, hey, start to come camp or start to uh, come United States, hope so you get your passport and make it available. Start to take the next available flight and start to come to United States and join us. It sounds disrespectful, it doesn't make sense. Because the way you treated the way Chelsea are treating Trevor Chaloba now is not different from the way they've treated Romelu Lukaku, not treating Kepa Balaga. We understand what or the the, the angle that has been left at, but Trevin Chaloba's situation scenario is far different from these guys. So anyway, I wish Trevin Chaloba well, and I hope he's able to find a club that he will be happy playing for them. At the same time, they will also appreciate his uh, talent. But at the same time, I hope Chelsea, we don't go on to regret this decision for sacrificing Trevin Chaloba for the Sassi, who is inconsistent. For Wesley Fofana, who is an injury prone, for Tosin, who will not seem play played with the Chel uh, Chelsea Jesse. All right, moving on to other Chelsea related news. Okay, for Petrovic, sorry, before moving on, Petrovic, according to a report that he has a little knock, so he's expected to join the rest of Chelsea players within the week in the United States. So hopefully, Petrovic will be joining. The rest of Chelsea players in the United States, who is very familiar with the United States because Chelsea bought him from the United States League. So returning back there will be a very good one, at least. He's very familiar with that terrain. And going over to other Chelsea related news, Chelsea have signed young star Willie Caleb or Caleb Willie from uh, Atlanta United, that is United States club, for the future. So according to the report, Chelsea signed this player for £8 million and he will be moving to Strasbourg. So it's expected after his uh, development with Strasbourg, he may return back to Chelsea. So Strasbourg is owned by Chelsea owner as a blue coal. That is blue coal. That is the kind of a subsidiary company or a subsession of Chelsea. That is what Strasbourg is just as as Girona is to Manchester City. Like the same owner that I get Manchester City and Girona, so as Chelsea, Strasbourg and Chelsea Football Club, Blue Co. So hopefully in future, 
let's see if we will also be able to develop alongside other Chelsea players for the future to represent our team. Then, going over to Conor Gallagher's contract situation, according to report that Athletic Madrid are trying to negotiate with Conor Gallagher. So, it therefore means that if Atletico Madrid should be able to agree terms with Conor Gallagher and the Englishman is willing to join them, then we could be saying a goodbye to Conor Gallagher. This now one transparency we don't really to, need to, to dwell on. We don't really know Chelsea uh, leadership stand on it. Like they truly want to say Conor Gallagher. At the same time, it's as if Conor Gallagher's camp is ready to leave Chelsea. So it therefore means that if Chalobas D should go through, he's able to find a club, Conor Gallagher should leave them. We only have one academic player left in our team, which is Rhys James. And soon or later, the end of Rhys James may also be coming with Chelsea, coupled with this injury. And therefore means that we're not being a total new era of Chelsea.